عندي وقت اضاف So here we go, it's the third out of five finals for the MENA Karting Championship. Nations Cup 2021, it is time for Junior Rotax action and here is your grid. Hamza al Fayez from Jordan will line up on pole position alongside Wilby Harry Hannum from the United Arab Emirates. Row two, Leo Robinson from Algeria. Edwin Kayser, Lebanon. Fahad al Ruwahi from Oman. And then Akan Mak uh, Makalda from Tunisia. Sofia Zanfari and Faisal Nushko representing Morocco and Jordan. Then it's Fahad Al Kouari and Saif Benani from Bahrain and Morocco, respectively, on the next row. The following one after that Ahmed El Sesi and Besma Khatal from Egypt and Algeria. Abdul Kedah Kasim from Bahrain. Abdallah Dasouk from Jordan. Tanal Binakli from Saudi Arabia. Sam Salma Ad Idrisi from Morocco. Yassin Sadfi from Tunisia and Prance Chanda from Oman. That is your starting grid. So, so full start has been called. The drivers will go round again. So full start. So that will be a control out and delete, a reset. So 18 laps will decide who is going to be the Junior Max winner for this year's Nations Cup. Boost gesticulation from uh, Salma Idrisi from uh, Morocco. Not sure what that was all about. However, we're about to give this a second time of asking. They split. Now they slowly head into the tram lines. Revs rise, lights are on. Are we ready? We're lights down and racing. And Leo Robinson gets a jump and a half up the inside to take the lead. And Harry Hannum looks to be around the one side of him. And there was an incident between 201 and, well, there was a couple of carts off of the outskirts of turn one, a two cart incident. Yellow flags at uh, Marshall at uh, the start finish line and also Marshall post one. But Leo Robinson with one of the best starts I've seen in a long time. He literally put it up the inside of the pole sitter Hamza Al Fayez and decided, right, I'm going to get there first. Well, Hamza Al Fayez might have other ideas. Harry Hannum rounds out the top three. As there. So the yellow flag being waved also at post two off of turn three. So on the start finish line, they come across to complete lap number one of 18. Leo Robinson still leads the way. Yellow flags are no overtaking. The drivers have got to slow down. So overtaking under yellows will be penalised accordingly. But they've got to make sure that if they want to have the uh, chance to uh, get themselves on the... So Leo Robinson, representing Algeria, based out of the UK these days, very credible young Carter, now makes the move to Rotax for this event. Second is uh, Halza al -Fayez and Harry Hanneman now rounds out the top three. But Robinson trying to move away from those behind. Lap three out of 18 underway. Harry Hanneman is now the quickest driver out there, 52. 0 0.706 for the young man, a supporter of the Millwall Football Club. I keep on mentioning that. I think he'll, he'll get sick of both me and Henry Bidette saying something about it. But Hamza al is now fastest in sector one. Harry Hannum's got the best lap time of anybody, 
And Neo Robinson was hoping to break away from those behind. The gap was four tenths last time around. However, it could be a little bit more than that if Hamza al Fayez is putting in these uh, purple sectors as the Jordanian has put in purple sector one. Purple sector two. They head down to the final hairpin. And out of the final corner they come. What's the gap? It was four tenths. Now it is 0.24. Hamza Al Fayez, 52.196, and has now started. And we've got a yellow flag at post uh, number two, which is off of turn three. So no overtaking allowed. Drivers very quick to respond to that as it was into their line of sight at rapid speed. Green flags as they come through. So uh, many drivers, and, and looking at it from this perspective, lap four underway out of 18. It's Leo Robinson, Hamza Al Fayez, Harry Hannam, uh, Fahad Al Ruahi. We've then got Edwin Knesser, Fahad Al Kuwari, Arken Maklada, and then we've got Sofia Zanfari running in the top eight. Ahmed El Sesi, Yasin Isadfi now up into P10. Abdul Keda Kadim, Abdallah Dusuk, Salma Idrisi, Besma Khatal. Talal Binakli, Faisal Nushko, and Saif Binani. So the two, it was the 206 and the 213 of Nushko and Binani that came together not that long ago. Yellow flags again at the start finish line, and we got one sideways and off. So just trying to keep an eye on who that is. driver in that cart looks to be possibly I'm not too sure it might be I can't really make it out from here from my line of sight so one cart is going to drop down the order quite significantly and at the moment that is ah that's Sofia Zanfari unfortunately so cart now being moved out of the way So now the Marshall and crew just trying to get the uh, cart, getting the carts out of harm's way and also off of the racing line. So we uh, carry on with uh, lap number six out of 18 about to be completed. Leo Robinson still leads the way, representing Algeria. Famsa Al Hayez, Al Hayez from Jordan, still in second. Harry Hannam in third, and it's getting close between the top two at the moment. With uh, this, these uh, drivers definitely getting uh, very, very quickly around this circuit. Leo Robinson fastest in the very first sector of anybody in this race, and he looks to be increasing it. Hamza Al Fayez is trying. He won the pre-final, started from pole position, but it was Leo Robinson that put the frightness on everybody. As soon as they launched it off the line, when they went revs up, lights out, and off and away, Robinson got the jump on everybody. Just trying to onto that, to go through turn one and two. For once again, a little bit further back, there's a nice little battle between Abdul Kader Kasim from Bahrain and Abdallah Dussouk from Jordan in well in tenth place for that position as things stand. Robinson still running in the 52-0s, as is Hamza Al Fayez from Jordan. Harry Hannam in P3. Kneser, Al Rawahi, Al Kuwari, Makalda, El Sesi, Sadfi, Keda Kasim, Dosuk, Khatal, Idrisi, Binakli, Nushko, Benani. We've unfortunately had a retirement from uh, Sofia Zanfari in the 2-11 from Morocco on lap number four as we are fast approaching the conclusion of lap number junior Rotax final. So we have 10 laps to go, including this one. And now Hamza Al-Fayez 
is close. He is within striking distance. And uh, Hamza al is in the meantime, has been closing in on the leader. And Harry Hannam is also improving as well. The uh, 2 2 0, based out of the United Arab Emirates these days, uh, now has done a personal best in sector number one. Sector two, they're all a little bit slow uh, in comparison with their previous laps. But uh, Edwin Knaeser is closing in on Harry Hannum. Top three covered by 0.664. And despite Harry Hannum not having set a purple sector, he gets the fastest lap of races now. Hamza al is looking up. He's trying to tee up Leo Robinson for an opportunity to get past to take the race lead as Robinson goes purple in sector number one. al Fayez, Hanan, Nasr, Al-Rawahi runs out the top five and they are covered from front to back by about 3.4 seconds in duration. Fahad al Kuwari in six representing Bahrain. Aken Makalda from Tunisia, Ahmed El Sesi, Yassine Sarfi and Abdallah Dussouk from Jordan ran out the top ten. We're on lap 10 of 18, which is shortly going to be completed. And Robinson has not buckled under the consistent, unrelenting pressure of Jordan's Hamza al who uh, bumps over the curbs going through into turn two. Set him up a little bit for turn three, looking up the inside. But Leo Robinson has just kept it apex point perfect through the last few laps of this race. So we're on to lap 11 out of 18. So Robinson just keeping himself at the front of the field. Looks over his left shoulder. Sees Al uh, Fayez, Hanum, Knaeser. So the top four effectively, Leo Robinson can see if he looks round behind him round about now. But he won't be doing that because he's going through turn one and turn two at a great rate of knots because Hamza al is still applying all that pressure. Robinson on the previous lap put in the fastest second sector of anybody in the race. And he's just trying to concentrate on what he needs to do. But there's an absolute gaggle a little bit further behind. The likes of Besma Hatal, Yazine Sarfi, Salma Idrisi, Talal Binakli. And then we've got Abdallah Dusuk also in that mix as well. So that's uh, five carts, I count. So we are still very much in the swing of things as Robinson unfazed, un. Well, he's, up, he's not been rattled at all in this race. It all comes down to one seminal moment. Who's going to want it the most? And I know for a fact that both of them want, just, want it just as badly. Harry Hannum. Can he claw the gap back? It's, uh, it could be very possible to spend uh, respective in his proximity uh, to the two in front. But Edwin Kayser is closing in. And we have got yellow flags once again on the start, finish straight. So there was a driver off the circuit at turn, at turn two. So yellow flags will continue to wave at the start, finish line and post one. Edwin Knaeser now trying to close on in on third position, but now Hamza Al Fayez, with the way that he's driving the 207, is starting to mount the offensive. This is where it, it, it's a bit like poetry in motion. I have to wait for the right time. Leo Robinson now going towards the final corner. Now the gap was 0.168. It now 
extends to point three. Robinson starting to motor on. So now we are getting into the business end of this race. Lap number 15 out of 18, and Robinson still leading the proceedings. Right, full course yellow. The race at this moment has been neutralised. They have got to uh, a full course yellow has been engaged, but Hamza Al Fayez has just gone through. He's going to. He's so they're going to have now. The thing was, the full course yellow was engaged. So this is where it gets interesting. They've got to slow down. They've got to register, slow down, confirm that they have received it, and that has neutralized proceedings. There is a cart that needs moving. Now, a full course yellow equalizes everything. It's about what happens on the restart. If the restart happens with a couple of laps to spare, be prepared for what in th what happens in front. So just awaiting. I've now had confirmation that the, the race is now officially red flagged on lap 16. So red flag has been called. So red flag has been called. Medical team on, on the circuit on their way to the seen in the incident so we will give you updates but medical team has been called so they have decided to stop the race at this point So we are back underway. We are going to restart proceedings. We are going to take the Junior Rotax Final 2. It's inevitable full 18 lap conclusion. So they'll have one formation lap and then they will give them the green flag to get things back underway. And then it is going to be a dogfight. So drivers will be up to speed very, very soon indeed. Then they'll be ready to go racing. So down the back straightaway on this single formation lap. The drivers will now prime themselves and get ready. Al Fayez will lead the way from Jordan. Then it's Robinson from Algeria. Hannam rounding out the top three. Out of the final corner. Right then, here we go. Revs rise, light, the green flag waves, and here we go. It's Robinson all over the back of Al uh, Fayez going into turn one for this time of asking. <coughs> and Harry Hannam now trying to get past at this moment, but not able to get past the uh, number 201 of Robinson as they're up towards... Uh, First in, uh, the first incline here at the circuit. Now it goes up a little bit more as there is, there is some uh, overtaking happening. And I think Edwin Case are trying to get past. So Edwin Case are pulling off the move on uh, Harry Hannam, who's now down into fifth. And through went. So I think that was Fahad al Rawahi. But at the moment, it is Jordan's Hamza Al Fayez now going toe to toe with Leo Robinson. There's a swarm of junior road taxes behind as Al Fayez goes sideways, coming out of the 13th and final corner. So here we go. It's all or nothing. It's down to the wire here in junior road tax. Hamza Al Fayez from Jordan. 
will now lead them up the hill through four and into five. Leo Robinson is the closest one that can attack the Jordanian in this and then what will then be the final lap because that board is being prepped as we speak. As now Robinson goes up the inside, gets the lead for Al Fayez. So I can hear the grandstand go a little bit nuts, but now it's Algeria versus Jordan. Here comes the 2 one 5 of Fahad al Ruahi from Oman. And now, oh, it's heading, oh, it's all going to go off on the last lap. Robinson defends from Al Fayez as they go into turn one for the first time. Well, they're for the last time in this race. I got so ahead of myself, I got too excited. And there we go. Edwin Knesser now into P3. Oh, Robinson drifts wide after that little bit of a touch. Oh, and up in the air. Up in the air for Al Rawahi and Robinson drifts wide. It's ha now who, well, it wasn't Al Rawahi that went wide. We're going to find down in just a second because Robinson is now going for the lead again. Up the inside, the 201 for the for Algeria. We've got a car that's got a noisy, noisy exhaust. It's, it is the 215 of Fahad Al Rawahi. So it's Hamza Al Fayez that I think is. Uh, the driver that has had a bit of a drama, but out onto the back straight away. Here comes Fahad Al Kuwari. He's got a, well, someone's got a noisy exhaust, but out of the final corner, checkered flag wave. It goes to Algeria's Leo Robinson. What a dramatic last lap for the Algerian. Oh my goodness. Leo Robinson. Takes the provisional for Junior Rotax. Fahad Al Kuwari in second. Hamza Al Fayez rounds out the top three for Jordan. Arken Malkada, Ahmed El Sesi, Fahad Al Ruwahi in sixth. Faisal Nushko in seventh. Head of Bezma Khatal, Edwin Knaiser, Saif Benani, Talan Al Binakli. Then we've also got Abdul Kader Kasim, Abdallah Dusuk, and Salma Idrisi. It looks like Harry Hannam. I, uh, uh, Harry Hannum is up and walking from the cart, which is a very pleasing sign to see after what happened. Junior Al Mutasabir, Min Al Jazair, Leo Robinson. Representing Algeria, Leo Robinson. Well done, uh, Leo Robinson. The fight is more than the other. Ayo, Asad Al-Kiram, to win the battle in the Junior Max.